everyone. My name is Miss Melissa. Some of you might know me from the Wharton Library, and currently I am with the Kingstown Library. Some of you might enjoy drinking lemonade. Maybe you like the traditional fresh squeezed lemonade, or maybe you even like pink lemonade. There's lots of different kinds to drink, but today we're going to learn to make a new kind, rainbow layered lemonade. And as we make our lemonade, we're going to learn about ratios and density. So in order to make our rainbow lemonade, there's a few different kinds of materials we're gonna need. We'll need some water, some sugar, a measuring teaspoon, um, a couple spoons to stir, some food coloring, some lemon juice, the kind that comes in a bottle works well, or you could do fresh squeezed if you want. We just wanna use like actual lemon juice and not some kind that has sugar in it or it'll be too sweet. You could also use lime juice. A glass, ideally a clear glass will work best, but if it has something on the front like mine does, a Ravenclaw crust, that's okay. And I think that's a, most of the materials we'll need, but we'll also need a stove with a saucepan. So it's very important that we have grown up help with this part since the stove is hot. You'll wanna make sure that you have an adult to help supervise as we make the first part of our, of our recipe, the sugar syrup. Now, in order to make the sugar syrup, we're going to go ahead and take our water. I've measured out one half cup water and we're gonna pour it in our saucepan. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one half cup sugar. We're gonna use granulated sugar. Pour that right in there. And we'll go ahead and we're gonna make sure to kind of stir that in there so it doesn't get too clumpy. All right. And next we'll go ahead and we're going to turn the stove to medium heat. So we'll go ahead and turn that on there. And then once we make sure that we have that kind of nice and stirred, we're gonna wait for the water and sugar mixture to come to a boil. And for this part, I used one half cup water and one half cup sugar. That was a one to one ratio. Um, so if you want to adjust the recipe to make more sugar syrup, you could definitely do that. You could make one cup water and one cup sugar, whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and wait for it to boil. All right, mixture is boiling. We'll want to turn the heat down to low. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our spoon and start stirring and we'll stir constantly for three to five minutes until the sugar crystals are completely dissolved. And the way that you can tell that they're completely dissolved is that if you lift up the spoon like this, you would not see any sugar in there. So it'll take a few minutes for them, for them to dissolve. And then once that happens, we'll go ahead and take our pan off the heat and let the sugar syrup cool completely before moving on to the next step. Now that our sugar syrup is nice and cool, we're ready to start mixing our lemonade. Now I went ahead and put the syrup right here in this bowl. We have some lemon juice and also a glass full of ice cubes. The ice cubes are really important because while we pour our mixture together, it kind of helps slow down the liquid. So I went ahead and filled up my glass all the way with ice cubes. So we're ready for our first layer. And for this layer, we're gonna go ahead and take a teaspoon and we're gonna go ahead and mix in eight teaspoons of sugar syrup into our glass here. All right, go ahead, make two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right, so we have eight teaspoons sugar syrup, and we're also going to do five teaspoons lemon juice. And the reason that this layer is going on the bottom is because it's going to be the most dense layer. And density is a measure of how much of a substance is in a specific volume of liquid. For example, when we did our sugar syrup, 
um, in the one half cup water, if we had put more sugar in than we did, it would have been a lot more dense. And since this is our most dense layer here, it's the greatest ratio of sugar syrup to lemon juice that's gonna go on the bottom. So now I have my sugar juice, eight teaspoons of sugar syrup, and five teaspoons of lemon juice in here. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it together. All right, and now we'll go ahead and add one drop of food coloring. Go ahead and do whatever drop, whatever color you would like to on this layer. I'm gonna use yellow. Put a couple drops in there. All right. And the food coloring really just kind of makes it easier to see. Let me get it all put together. nice and mixed all right and i'm ready now to go ahead and pour this into my glass now for most of our layers we're going to going to want to pour very very slowly if we're not quite as slow in the first layer that's okay since it's on the bottom but we're going to be wanting to pour right over the ice to slow it down right so you can go ahead and see see that i have my first layer ready and we are ready to start preparing our second layer. So our second layer is going to be made up of three teaspoons sugar syrup and two teaspoons lemon juice. So you can see I went ahead and mixed together our three teaspoons sugar syrup and two teaspoons lemon juice. And I put in some red food coloring. Whatever color you wanna use is fine as long as it's different than our first layer and we're gonna go ahead and very carefully, very slowly start pouring directly onto the ice cube as slowly as you can. Now, if this part doesn't turn out quite right, that's okay. As long as you try your best, it'll still taste good. And the reason that it's going to float on top is because this layer is less dense than the other layer. And once you've poured all of your liquid in there, you're ready for layer three. For layer three, we're going to do one teaspoon sugar syrup and one teaspoon lemon juice. I have mine prepared already, and this time I went ahead and decided to add a different color, blue. And I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Very, very slowly, I'm gonna pour it on top of the ice cubes just directly on the ice cube. And if you're having trouble with this part, you can always add a little more ice. Um, after a while, sometimes the ice starts to melt and that does make it a little bit harder. So you can always add more ice. Um, have a grown up help you if you're struggling and you can kind of just experiment, um, change the ratios if you need to. Our final layer is a one to one ratio, but you can kind of experiment trying different amounts of lemon juice and sugar syrup and if you want, you can eventually even try to add more layers. Um, maybe next time after you do the one-to-one, -one, you could add another layer of sugar, sugar syrup, just one teaspoon of sugar syrup, and then a final layer of one teaspoon of lemon juice and see how that goes for you. All right, so there's lots you can do. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoy your treat when you're all finished.